So you know the lingo. Any extreme sports in your history I've yet to hear about? Well, I mean, I think catching killers is pretty extreme. And then there's marrying you. Ah, uh, yes. I admit I am extreme. <laughs> Extremely handsome. Yep, with a high degree of difficulty. There's Manny. Manny Castro? Yeah, that's me. NYPD, we need to talk to you about Logan Moore. The guy's a loser. What's there to talk about? How about his murder? When Logan didn't show up for the event, I, I didn't know what to think, but I sure as hell didn't kill him. Manny, you repeatedly swore to do just that after he beat you in LA. And in Austin. And Tim. I talk a lot of trash. The fans go nuts for it. It's all part of the show. We talked to the front desk at your hotel. They said that you left at 10 p.m. last night, and you didn't come back until 5 a.m. I hooked up with a girl. She'll tell you I was with her all night. Yeah, I'm sure she will. But that video of you threatening Logan yesterday, that's going to be a lot harder to explain away. No, that's not what it looks like. Really? Because it looks like it is what it looks like. Listen, right before that video was taken, I caught Logan ransacking the festival mobile office, all right? Ransacking as in trashing? It was more like he was looking for something. Like what? I don't know. And he wouldn't explain himself, so I got up in his face. That's what was on the videotape. You reported? I was going to tell Tom Fulton, the festival CEO, but he begged me not to, so I kept my mouth shut. And why would you do that for him? He swore it was a matter of life and death. I guess he was right. 